So this is the layout design stage. So now that you have done your schematics, so schematics is your actual circuit connection that you have made. So you have done the placement from some of the, some of the, uh, from the schematics, you know that these are the different components that I need to electrically connect them. So now I have placed them on the PCB saying that, okay, this should sit here. Uh, you know, analog should sit here, digital should sit here and all the interfaces should sit here. Next, what you're doing is a layout design. Layout design, many designers, what they do is they jump directly from schematics to layout design. Okay. And, and what do you think can be the problem? Let's say you are doing schematic design. I skip the placement design and I directly go to uh, layout design. What do you think can be the problem? So I'll tell you what is layout design first. Okay. So time to make real connections on the board. So in schematics, you did an electrical connection in layout design. You'll, you'll do a actual, actual physical connection. Okay. This is a physical connection that you are doing on the board. So what happens if I go from schematics to layout directly? So let's see some answers that I've got here. Okay. Someone said insufficient space, correct. EMC, EMI issues, spacing issue. Space and connectivity issue. Connections might be wrong. Insufficient space in PCB. Short circuit between connection. Yes, very good. Good answers. Correct. You will end up in issues where once you start making these real connections on the PCB, you will see that there is there is no space for certain components. Okay, because you didn't plan. I wanted to design a product, but I did not plan properly. I didn't say I didn't plan saying where should my where should be my USB connector. I did everything. Now there is no space to put a USB connector at a location where I want. I wanted it at the bottom of the phone, let's say, but there is no space. Okay. So now I have to put somewhere on the top, top, right, top, left, where users don't like it. They'll feel, okay, this is very, this is not a right position to put a USB connector. Right. So these are the issues that we'll get into. And it's a waste of time. It's a waste of time. You have to again, go back, go back to the, you know, uh, layout, uh, you know, placement. Ensure that the placement is correct. Then redo your layout. Again, a lot of things will change, right? It's a waste of time. So it's a, always a good uh, practice to follow schematics, placement, and then do the layout design. Okay. So once you've done the schematics, uh, schematics is uh, um, electrical connections. So layout is a practical way of routing, uh, routing your electrical connections. So what we do is, uh, uh, on the layout, we call it as transmission lines, uh, which you, where you connect the two components. Okay. So if you remember the schematic diagram, we made the electrical connections. And, uh, if you think of the connections between the two, uh, components there, they are, they're just like the wires. Right. They're just like the wires between two components, but when you're doing it on a PCB, we call them as a transmission lines because they're mostly working at high frequency. And when you are doing those connections, you don't want them to look like this. Correct. You don't want your circuit to look like this, right? This is a messy way of connecting your wires. See here, someone gave an answer saying that there will be short circuit. There may be crisscrossing. Right. We don't want all these things to happen on our hardware. So if there is a, if I do my layout like this, where these transmission lines or wires are crisscrossing, there will be short circuit and the circuit actually won't work. Also, it looks very messy. What you actually want is you want your circuit to look like this, right? So this is a nice way of drawing. So see here, these are the transmission lines and see how neatly they have been routed around the component. So these are the components that you see here. And this is some chip, some IC and see how these lines are routed. Hope it is clear. Okay. So this is why component placement stage is very important. So once you do the placement properly, layout design or routing of these transmission lines becomes easier. So one thing I want to highlight, uh, you know, so far, whatever I've been telling you, I'm uh, overly simplifying each stage. Okay. I'm making it very simple. In reality, each of these steps is very complex. It takes a lot of time. It takes a lot of skill from the design engineer. The design engineers have to be, you know, really experts in doing a proper product design. 
but I am trying to simplify it here in this uh, workshop. Okay, done. Let's go to the next slide. So, so what is the tools? Like how I told you, all this is done using software tools. So same software tools are used for schematics, placement and layout design. So some of the popular software tools are these, RTM Designer, uh, or CAD, uh, Cadence, KeyCAD, Autodesk Eagle. So these are some of the popular tools. There are a lot more popular tools, a lot more software tools, which are used to uh, design your schematics, do the placement and layout. So it is, it is a step-by-step -step process. So if you are using any of these tools, it will automatically let you do, you know, go from one step to that. Now, if you want to, uh, let's say you are a, you are a new engineer, you want to learn something, you are very curious what you want to do. Uh, typically all these, you know, all these software tools that you see here are uh, paid versions and they're expensive. So you can go with the KeyCAD. So KeyCAD is an open source uh, software. It is quite powerful. So if you want to start out with a good tool, you want to learn something, uh, they also have very good tutorials. You can always go to their website. They give you tut uh, tutorials. You can download that uh, tool on your uh, software tool on your laptop or your, or your desktop, and you can start designing something on your own. Please subscribe to our channel by clicking on the subscribe button below to get regular updates of video releases.